Hello, and welcome back to Beyond the Borders. This week is the week that you have all been waiting for. And that, of course, is my favorite country, Sweden! If you don't know a whole lot about this icy nation, well, I feel sorry for you. Since the days of the Vikings, Sweden has basically been making awesomeness. Not only are they the world's leading per capita exporter of music, yes, there are many famous Swedish bands you can look up. In fact, it would be a good idea to play some of them after this video is done. Sweden is also an exporter of cars, such as Volvos, which, while I don't drive one, I hear they drive great, so if you want to buy one, go ahead. All in all, Sweden is just an all-around awesome country with my favorite city in the world, the capital Stockholm, and all sorts of beautiful people. In fact, tens of both genders. Recently, Sweden had an election. While it wasn't an earthquake like Italy's, it was a tremor. Now I will describe exactly the context of it. Like Italy and most European countries, Sweden has a parliamentary system of government with a prime minister that serves in the parliament and an extra-parliamentary, quote, head of state. While Italy has a president, Sweden instead has a, has a king. King Carl the Sixteenth. Yeah, they need to get a lot more creative. Sixteen? Are there any other names? While Carl has no power, the parliament has all the power. And what makes Sweden unique is the dominance of one political party, the left-wing Social Democratic Workers' Party, more commonly known as the Social Democrats. Since 1911, the Social Democrats have received the largest share of votes in the Swedish parliament, also known as the Riksdag. In this last election, they did too. They received 28% of the vote. But this is a far cry from back in the 1960s and 1970s when the party would receive more than 40% of the vote. Now, you could probably say that Sweden's collective opinion of the Social Democrats would be a nationwide meh. Yes, meh. While Sweden's elections used to be meh events as well, this one was not. And that was because not only did the Social Democrats fall to their lowest percentage ever, a new party came up that really spooked the old Swedish parties that I will talk about later, promise. So what exactly went wrong with the current Swedish government, comprised of the Social Democrats and their allies, the Green Party? Well, first with the Green Party, who received an abysmal 4% of the vote, they were snagged in some scandals that involved a supposedly feminist party, including members who were Muslim, that happened to say bad things about women. Oops. Even worse for the government proved to be the 2015 immigration crisis, which really spiraled out of control and led to months of uncontrolled Im immigration of refugees, mainly from Afghanistan and Syria, and the conflicts there, thus forcing the Social Democrats to do a U-turn on immigration, considering that they were the most pro-immigrant party for decades, shocking many outside observers and changing the country probably forever. The party that I talked about that is new onto the scene is the right-wing Sweden Democrats, or as they say in Swedish, Sverige Demokraterna. Oh yes, I should tell you some more party names in Swedish, such as the Social Democrats are Socialdemokraterna, the Green Party is the Miljöpartiet, and I will tell you a few more later. While the Sweden Democrats were forecasted to win up to 25% of the vote in the elections, they ended up winning only about 17%, as most Swedes were, shall we say, repulsed by some of their questionable views, such as Swexit, you see, you've got to go back to my earlier videos to get that one. If you haven't, you better. And downright racism and neo-Nazism and a general reputation for violent thuggery. Why would anyone vote for violent thuggery? Not I. This reputation made the Sweden Democrats toxic to many other parties, including the Environmental Center Party that received about 9% of the vote. While this 9% of the vote may not sound like a lot, trust me, it becomes important later on. Now the race to find a stable Swedish government has descended into an outright Mexican standoff. Wait, what? Oh, what? 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 With all three blocks, the Social Democrats block, the 
more moderate right-wing bloc, and the Sweden Democrats, all at each other's throats. Well, not literally. Swedes are not a violent people. They are peaceful people. But for Swedish politics, this is pretty extreme. The realization is that one person or party will probably have to get burned. And that person is Mrs. Annie Luf, the leader of the Center Party, also known as Center Partiet, who will either have to concede to ruling with the Social Democrats, led by Prime Minister Stefan Lufven, yes, not Lofven, as it's spelled, Lufven, and the Sweden Democrats, led by Jimmy Aukesson, who has made the party look more moderate, but many believe that they are not that moderate at all. Because of basic electoral math, she will have to work with one of them. And while that's not good for her, it will sure make Swedish politics more interesting to watch. Join us next time on Beyond the Borders as we go in to discuss a country with a really rotten economic state, Turkey. All right, Sam, here is your quiz segment for today. Okay. As we established last video, you your country is in the southern hemisphere. Yes. yes Dubelli is in the southern hemisphere. Oh. All right. So now we'll make... Now what can I do? <laughs> Now I'll make the decision on whether it is a is a democracy or a what what what, what or a, a dictatorship or a dictatorship. Oh, I want a dictatorship. Of well, course. Then, well, then you have to get an even number of questions right. Oh. I'll do five. All right. So if you get on, if you get all five, it's a it's a dictatorship. Uh, no, no, I thought I thought you said dictatorship was even. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. If you get all if you get all five, then it's a democracy. democracy. Actually, I'd rather have a democracy. I take that back. <laughs> which planet, having all the circumstances for the existence of life, which planet is that? Let me guess. Ven no, just kidding. Earth. Earth. <laughs> These are science questions. They get harder. What is the age of Earth? At, uh, six billion. Six billion years. Six billion. Uh, that is wrong. Wrong. It's about forty-six million years. Oh, uh, what? No, forty-six million. No. No, no, no. Forty-six hundred million years. That's four point six billion. Oops, I knew so there was a six knew, in yeah, there. Yeah, I knew it was. But close, but no cigar. Uh, these are written really weird. The man who first assessed the mass of Earth. Oh, what was his name? Oh, Archimedes. Nope. Dr. Neville Maskeline. <laughs> oh, I thought it was some Greek dude. Never mind. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to get any of these. All right, so you got one. All right, and now number four. What are the four layers in the outer surface of the Earth? Pass. All right, another one wrong. So on this one, you have to get it right for it to be... A dictatorship. A dictatorship. <laughs> Which are the six layers of the atmosphere divided on the basis of the distance from the surface of the Earth? Pass. Democracy. The end. Wow. All right. <sighs> Bonus question. Bonus question? Yes. Oh. Okay, you might be able to get this one. Just to turn into the... Into the... In, into a, a new dictatorship. <laughs> uh, actually, a Samocracy. That's what Sam I'll call it. The permeable rock layer which retains water. Oh. It's a permeable rock layer. Well, if there's a dictatorship, I have to be the dictator. Yeah, there's no way I'd live in a dictatorship if I'm not the dictator. Um, a permeable layer of it, it holds it holds water in a certain spot underground. Oh, man. water table. Nope, aquifer. Dang it! Oh, I'm not gonna be dictator. Oh well. Oh, so Sam lives in a boring old democracy. Oh. All right, so we have a southern hemisphere country with a democracy named Dubelli. Dubelli. So okay. Comment, like, subscribe. Quiz questions below. Same deal. Okay. Bye bye.